Hello, my name is Maya Kincaid. I'm an animal communicator and I've been talking with people's pets from around the world for nearly 20 years now. But this is not about animal communication. I want to share with you something that I discovered this last summer that really saved me big time. This is my horse Delight and he's 28 years old and been a friend of mine for 25 years. Well, this last summer he's been so super healthy, healthy throughout his life, but I noticed he had a wound um, right up underneath this upper lip. It, it was actually on the other side. But, um, and it was something where, uh, that I discovered it was caused by a fly, flies biting him there. And I thought at first, oh, this won't be too hard to heal because it's kind of tucked up underneath there. But I started to put medicines on it and different things like that and, and talked to the doctor. And, uh, but it just seemed like nothing was working because it was super itchy for him. And um, and he would I would put something on like some salve or something like that and he would go and just rub it right off and then he was rubbing it and the bugs were still biting it as well and it got bigger and bigger until it was actually a really nasty wound like this big and it was swollen and I just uh, sat down one evening and I was like that's it I've got to do something what can I do to to protect his head and just, I felt like bringing him in the house but anyway let me show you what I came up with here yeah. Okay, so I was trying to figure out what can I do with this horse. Um, I even thought about a cone that you put like on a dog after they've had surgery, but I was thinking that can't work around the neck. I need something around the nose. So I was sitting in a chair and I just looked across the way and here was a bucket. And I thought maybe that would work. So I actually took this little uh, plastic bucket and um, I cut off the bottom about this much. And then and I took off this metal part here. And then I turned it around and I actually went and I stuck it on my horse's nose to see if it would work and it did. It was a little tight around this part right up in here. And so I had to um, actually cut a little bit more out of it and I, I used a regular scissors to cut it, but you could use uh, like a knife or something. But, but anyway, a scissors like this worked really well. Then, so what I came up with was actually something like this and it, it has a lot of duct tape on it. This was the first one that I made. And I used a screwdriver to actually put the holes in it. And I, I did it from the inside of the bucket poking out so that the, the plastic would not be poking in toward the horse. So I put two holes here, two holes in the back, and two holes here. So that it worked where these, I could put hay string through and then just tie it right onto his halter on the two sides and then also on the back. And uh, this was the very first one that he wore. And he, as you can see, it got damaged um, because he was very itchy and he was rubbing, you know, and trying to get this off. Um, I attached it, um, had it attached to the halter, but it only lasted about a day. Then I, uh, so I got some more buckets. Then I made another one and I started putting duct tape on, on them too to hold them together you can see where some nail holes are, or not nail holes, but holes here for the string. And so I, this is the kind of string I used. It was just regular hay string. And also I ended up getting some red duct tape eventually, but I mostly had used some regular standard gray color. And this is actually what it looks like. And I recommend using a halter that's a breakaway halter. That way, because normally I don't leave a halter on a horse. I, because I think it's dangerous and they can get hooked on things. But you can use a breakaway halter so that if it get, he gets it hooked on something, it'll just break and then they'll be free. But this actually, this bucket is a little bit different than the red one, but pretty much about the same size. And it actually lasted for a couple of weeks. And I put a little bit of extra du duct tape right down on the side where the wound was just to kind of lengthen it a little bit. But the way that it worked was the horse could stick his nose out. It was sticking out enough that he could eat his hay and everything and also drink water. And so, but it just basically gave some protection for when he was trying to rub on trees and different things like that. It made it so that he was rubbing against the plastic instead of on his mouth. And also I would put, um, I use a natural um, spray for uh, insect repellent and it's, with no chemicals and I would put a little bit on the outside and even a little bit on the inside as well just to kind of repel 
them from the area as well. So what I'd like to do is actually show you what this looks like on him. <laughs> he, he got to where he was quite comfortable with it. So pretty funny wearing a bucket on his head. So, but let me, let me put this on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so he's probably not going to want to wear this again, but we'll put it on so you can see how it actually works. Yeah, and so it's a little rugged, you know, looking, but um, you can see my extra duct tape that I put right along the side just to stretch it down a little longer because this was where the wound was, right up in here. But you could see also that he can stick, his nose is sticking out below the bucket so he can eat and drink water. And this just worked out so super well. And it's plenty loose, you know, so it's not tight around the nose. That's real important that he can um, have plenty of space to be able to chew. So he just he nibbles on hay 24/7 and other good things. But this was just a lifesaver for us. And I wanted to share it so if anyone out there is having a similar issue, you can try this next summer. Yeah, so thanks so much. This is Maya Kincaid and my horse delight. <laughs>